Hi YouTube friends, it's Tom here. Welcome. Join me because today we're going to be learning how to tie the Clover Diamond Knot. We want to start this one off by tying a diamond knot, so take your right hand strand here and form an overhand loop. And then pinch it off where it crosses and give it a half rotation away from you and place it over the left hand strand. Then grab that left hand strand, take it underneath the right and we want to weave it directly through this section here. First by going down and then up through that left side. We can draw that together and we want to get a shape like this down the bottom and we want to have this loop here. So when we have this shape, I'm going to start here with my left strand and I'm taking it around this leg that forms the loop. So I'm taking it around to the front side and then up through the centre of the knot. And it's going to form its own loop down here. Then I'm going to grab my right strand, I'm going to take it around this left leg here and up through the center of the knot and it's going to form its own loop here at the top. Then I can grab these two free strands and the top loop and just draw this knot together. So we should end up with a diamond knot and a loop here at the top. Then I'm going to take the right leg of that loop and follow it down through the knot until you find it down the bottom here and then just pull a little bit of slack through and form its own loop down the bottom. Flip the knot around and do the same thing. Follow that leg around until you find the strand down the bottom. Pull that top loop closed a little bit and open up a loop down the bottom here. And we want those loops to be about the same size. Next we're going to follow this lower loop to where it finds its strand near the top and we're going to pull that slack out and form a loop at the top. I'm again going to flip this knot over, follow the slack of this lower loop and pull it out the top. So pull the bottom loop closed and open up a loop here at the top. So now we should have three loops at the top and we just need to progress by tightening this whole thing down. So tighten the knot and you should end up with a triangular shape on both sides here and your three leaf clover at the top. If you like this kind of thing feel free to hit the subscribe button because here we talk about all kinds of different knots. 
Thanks for watching. I like you all and I'll see you on the next video.